So we're gonna talk about lunges right now. So um, you can do your lunges without weight or with weight. The primary focus of your lunge is to make sure you've got balance. So that's the first key. If you don't have balance, don't pick up the weight. Just work on that balance first. And the one trick to help you getting your balance is to have your feet hip width apart on those railroad tracks so that when you step out, you're still on those railroad tracks and you haven't shifted that leg over. You can go a little wider. It's gonna affect the hips a little bit, but not in a bad way. Um, and just make sure that you've got those railroad tracks in front of you and you're coming back. If you're stepping behind you, again, keep the railroad tracks and then step, do your lunge. So the other key thing with the lunge is to step out with a long enough stride so that the back leg, and I'll get an angle, back leg is coming down where it's in line with the knee to the hip to the shoulder. All right, so let me change legs, okay? Knee, hip, shoulder, all straight up in a line, and then you're coming down, all right? So your weight is sinking straight down, not touching the floor, you're just coming a few uh, inches above the floor, maybe five or six centimeters, and then up, all right? So you're gonna feel pressure here in this leg, and you're gonna feel pressure here in this leg. Up on the ball of the feet in the back, and nice and tall through the shoulders. If you've got a weight, you can carry that weight either at your chest, like so. If you can grip it in one hand, if you've got two weights, you can grip them in both hands or changing hands. All right. This is what it looks like from the front. There's my head popping in and out of the camera. That's okay. All right, guys, that's your lunge. Again, focus on your balance first and then add weight when you feel more secure and balanced. Thanks.